All right, today we're going to talk about the uh, storage of the oil. First thing you'll notice is the color. Uh, this oil has been filled to 10 micron and it has been fully dewatered. It's not a golden transparent yellow that you would expect with most vegetable oil. Uh, this is the oil that comes out of fryers and restaurants, um, french fries, fish and chips, any kind of fried foods. Uh, pretty much every oil will look like this. So. Um, it's food for thought next time you order some fried food. Key to, storaging, uh, key to storage of your oil is choosing a container um, that fits you the best. Myself, I found that these, uh, these containers, which were uh, in their previous life were holding bulk cleaning supplies, uh, they were ideal. They're 20 liters, which means um, it's slightly less than uh, 20 kilograms in weight. They come with a strong handle. Um, they're made of high density polyethylene. Uh, vegetable oil will actually dissolve um, several different types of plastic. So you want to make sure you choose a plastic that's uh, rugged and has a long life. High density polyethylene or HDPE on the bottom of it, recycle number one or two. HDPE is the acronym you're going to be looking for. Uh, milk jugs are made out of this, uh, washer fluid jugs are made out of this. That's a very common plastic, that's widely used. Another great part about this, uh, these particular jugs is the size of the, the aperture of the cap. Um, it's about that wide and the cap seals entirely, so it's an airtight container. So once I pour my oil in there that's been fully dewatered, I'm not concerned about atmospheric um, moisture getting into the oil again, introducing bacteria. These are airtight containers, I can store them on my shelf here, and I'm not worried about any bacterial growth inside the oil. Um, anybody who has a diesel vehicle will know that bacterial growth inside your oil tank, inside your fuel tank happens from time to time. Um, my shelving is made from uh, wood scraps and brick, um, nothing fancy. Um, four across, two deep, two high, so that's uh, 16 20 liter jugs, or about 6,400 highway kilometers of travel. Uh, this would be worthwhile. Um, it can take me across the country and part of the way back. So, this is a lot of oil. Um, it's the end of the fall, so I'm stockpiling for the winter and the beginning of the spring. You can't filter oil um, if it's solid, so if it's uh, 10 10 below outside, or even if it's around freezing, you'll find the oil flows very, very slowly. So you want to try and get a stockpile before the winter. Uh, the jugs, once they're empty, they'll have a lining of oil inside. Sometimes you want to clean it, uh, so you get a fresh start every time you put oil in. Um, you can use liquid dish detergent. Um, this is just the no-name brand stuff. Works great. Dish detergent is a great degreaser. Um, usually about a teaspoon of the detergent inside one of these jugs with uh, about this much water at the bottom, shake it, cleans it out, and spend most of your time cleaning out the soap instead of the oil. Uh, 